Welcome to another GB Studio tutorial. Today we're gonna move furniture around so you can make your own little like Animal Crossing game or something. All right, so here we are in GB Studio. Let's, uh, let's first start by creating a, a new house for Dwarf. I've already got too much stuff going on in that one. So you already probably know this, new scene. And then um, let's find the house. Oh gosh, uh, house. And then we can just move these right here and now dwerv will i mean <laughs> gerbs i'm one of the developers working on dwerv it's a tower defense dungeon crawler <laughs> we'll start in uh in this house let's call this house fernie all right so now let's create some actors these are gonna these are gonna be the different pieces of furniture so let's go to uh, dresser. That one's cool. Um, actually, I'm gonna only do one and then I'll copy it and just change the sprite. So that way um, I don't have to reprogram every single one. All right, so anyway, there we go, we got a dresser. And the speed doesn't matter. Location doesn't matter, it's all good. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. So now if we walk inside, there's the dresser and by default, you can't go through um, actors. And also if you press Z, you interact with it, but we don't have any logic there yet. I'm gonna add a dialogue and it's going to say, do you want to move me? The next one we're going to do is display multiple choice. So the question, uh, the furniture is gonna ask you, do you want to move me? And then uh, we're just gonna have a yes. And, uh, and a no. Want to move. Want to move, yes or no. Whoopsies, that's better. Sorry, I forgot to move myself uh, uh, that way. Anyway, so, <laughs> now you ask, the, the furniture asks, do you want to move me? And we answer yes or no. And now we need to do an if. If you type in if, um, here we can check if a variable is true. So if a variable is true and the variable um, we're checking is the one that we just created, which is want to move. So if want to move, by the way, you can drag this out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if we selected yes, that we want to move the furniture, we're going to search the uh, push. And there is actually, this is already built in, push away from player. And do not check slide until collision because that'll make it kind of like it's on ice. It'll just keep moving. But let's, uh, let's, see, if, let's see if this works. Here we have the dresser. Do you want to move me? I'm gonna select yes, and I, <laughs> I moved it. Normally, I can't move it though, you see that? It's only if, uh, wait, you can walk, oh. <laughs> I forgot to put walls um, in this room, whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I just select yes, and, and I can move the, the furniture, the direction that I'm facing. Uh, the only problem is if I move it up against the wall, how do I move it? How do I move it back now, right? So we need to create an option where you can pull it, maybe push and pull, um, or uh, reset the furniture. And right now, if I come back in, the furniture will be reset because we're not saving the um, location of the furniture. So I'm going to rename the yes to push, and the no is going to be pull. And the text here is just gonna, whatever. She's gonna say, move me. And <clears throat> we got the push already working. That's built in, push away from player. Unfortunately, there is no pull. So if you search pull, nothing comes up. But there is a way to kind of do this. It gets a little bit more complicated. You choose actor set relative position. So make sure to choose the dresser and then the Y is going to be one. And this will move it one on the Y, which is down, I think. Let's double check. Plus one moves it down, as you can see. All right, so I run in. Now it asks me if I wanna push or, or pull. I can go ahead and push it. And if I select pull, you can see it moved down, heck yeah yeah. And uh, there we go, I got pushing and pulling. The only con is I can push it any direction. 
See, I can push it this direction. But even if I'm on the side, if I click pull, it always moves it down. So what we got to do is we got to check which way the player is facing. It's not that hard. All right, so let's do it. <clears throat> what we do here is we're going to add an event and we're going to have to check all the directions that the player is facing. So if actor facing direction. So we're going to check if Dwerv, I mean, <laughs> if Gerbs, we're going to check if Gerbs is facing um, uh, left. And then we got we to gotta copy this for every direction. Jeez. So we're going to do if Gerbs is facing left. Um, make sure that, that these are inside of one another. You'll know that you're doing it right because it'll look like the colors are changing or whatever. <clears throat> so we got left, up, down, one more. Uh, where is it? Actor facing direction, there it is. All right, so if the player is facing um, left, that's when we want to do move relative and we want to move the dresser remember this is pull so it's going to be um minus one oops minus one and then if the player um is facing up that means where we want to move it down positive y is down and if the player is facing down that means we want to move it up, which is going to be negative y. Did I forget to switch this to the dresser? Yes, I did. OK. And then if the player is facing right, uh, uh, move it negative 1. Negative 1, negative 1, 1. Wait, negative one. This one should be. This one should be one. <clears throat> I fudged that up. Um, and if it's true, so if it's true, we push away from the player. Else, what we do is um, we move it. We can get rid of this one now because we can get rid of that one because that one automatically moved it down. But we are checking the direction of the player before we move it now. All right. Let's see if this works. So we know we can push it. Let's see if we can pull it. Pull it down. Now I should pull it to the right. Oh yeah, baby. Now I should pull it to the left. Oh my god. Let's try one more direction. Yeah! And push is gonna work uh work too. So now you can push and pull furniture. Time to make a uh Time to make an Animal Crossing game, right? All right, so what you can do is you can just hit Control C, Control V, and you got yourself another piece of furniture. And now all you got to do is just change that sprite bed. So we got a bed in here. But don't forget that once you do that, you also have to um, you also have to rename it. And then you have to make sure that all the references to the dresser are now bed. So just make sure you go through and, and, and switch all those to the bed. So I got all this furniture here, but the positions aren't being saved. If you want to save the positions, what you need to do is create a variable for the X and Y location. And there's a store position in variables. So we're going to um, store, the, store the position of, this is the bed. Make sure, you don't don't forget, you gotta switch it to the one that you're on. And we're gonna save this to, uh, save the position to variables. I'm just gonna pick, uh, um, uh, make two new variables. This one right here, I'm gonna rename it, I'm gonna call it bed x, because it's storing the x position. And then this one um, is going to be uh, renamed to bed y. So we're storing the position of the bed in a variable, and I'm just going to move it here. And um, do you think it'll stay there or not? It reset. 
And the reason it reset is because we're storing it in variables, but we're never actually doing anything with those variables. So what you need to do to set it, when you first come into the room, you have to click the scene up here where, where the name of the scene is. You click that, and here this code will run when you first walk into the room. So we need actor, move to, not move to, set position using variables. And we're gonna set the position of the bed to the bed X, X for X and Y for Y. So now, if I move it, every time I come back into that room, it'll use the previous uh, variables. So, I mean, I think this is gonna work. I'm kind of winging this, to be honest. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Look at the bed. What is the bed doing up here? Come on, bed. I guess I never set. Um, I never set the default position for the bed. So since I never set the default position, the default position is zero zero, and zero zero is the top left corner. All right. So now I got it back in my uh, back in my house here, and uh, let's see if it saves those positions. And it did. <laughs> it saved the position. Now if you save the game, it will save that position. It will save that variable. So we don't want the bed to start at zero, zero. What we can do, since we don't want it to start at zero, zero, is to set the um, bed X and Y variables um, somewhere else in the code. So if I want to start the bed at 14 and six, which is its current position, I'm gonna go back to the scene, and here I'm going to do uh, set variable to value. So I clicked on the bed, it's 14 and six. I was completely off. So, so I'm gonna put 14, and six here, and that's where the bed will now start. The problem is that it'll always start here. We only want it to start here before you move it. Um, to do that, we would need to create a, a variable and check if the variable is true. And I'm gonna move that before we set the bed. And um, I'm gonna set the bed X and Y. I'm, uh, uh, Sorry, I'm doing this kind of fast. I'll explain it after I set it up. So I'm gonna call this move stuff. And if move stuff is false, which means you haven't touched anything, that means that I want to put everything in, make sure everything starts in its default positions. So here I set bed X, Y to 14, bed Y to six. And then after I set those values, I move the, the actor, actor set position, and I set it to X and Y. So click on your piece of furniture, and if you interacted with the furniture, we're just gonna assume that you moved it. So we're not gonna wanna save the um, default positions anymore. And this is why we're going to uh, set variable to true. And so moves stuff is going to be set to true. Now, instead of it loading this position, 14 and six, what it'll actually do is it'll just automatically move it to the X and Y location which will be set over here where, where we moved the bed. So check it out. The bed is in the middle of the house by default, but I set it to um, this location through code, location in the top right corner. If I go here though, and I push it, now that I interacted with it, um, this, the variable, the variable, um, moved stuff is set to true. So now that the variable is set to true, when I come back, instead of loading it in the default position, it loads the last moved position. Did you see that? That was pretty sweet. So check it out. I pulled it down and I came back and it's right where I left it. So you see how in the scene I set the default position for the bed? You're gonna have to set the default position for every piece of furniture. And where you place it over here doesn't matter because you're setting it through code. What you can do though is when you move it to the position that you like, you can just look at the values up here and then input those, um, input those into the variables. And also don't forget um, to then, to, don't forget to go back to all the other pieces of furniture and add, and at the bottom add um, moved stuff and set that to true.
We did it. We created a system for moving furniture around. I get really excited every time this stuff works because I, I wing it. I don't um, test this code out <laughs> ahead of time. And as you can imagine, you can use this for all sorts of stuff like puzzles. Give that video a like and holler at me in the comment section below. I made a Pixar tutorial on furniture. You should check it out so you can draw your own. I'll see you next week. Dev life.